And our top stories at the moment, the United States government has declared greenhouse gases a danger to health. That gives President Obama a free hand in ordering cuts in U.S. emissions. At least 40 people have been killed in bomb explosions in Pakistan, and the U.S. authorities have charged a U.S. citizen in connection with last year's deadly attacks on the Indian city of Mumbai. Those are the headlines from the BBC. And let's go back to our top story. Hundreds of green activists in Copenhagen, another one on the way on foot from England. Pushpanath Push Krishnamurti is taking what he calls a Gandhian journey to raise awareness and to tell as many people as he can about the plight of poor people that he's met as part of his work for the charity Oxfam, people affected by climate change. I caught up with him on the phone in Denmark, a couple of days away from Copenhagen. I asked him, how was he doing? Very well, fighting fit today. A few days ago, I had a bit of a problem. What sort of a problem? Uh, the top portion of my foot started to swell. I think the ligament uh, was trying to protest because I pushed myself 40 kilometers one day. That's a lot, yes. And I yeah. guess it's been raining most of the way, hasn't it? A kind of raining and uh, grey. Nothing unusual from Britain. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> What's the strangest reaction you've had from people as you've met them going along? People saying that, God, mad, why don't you take a cycle? The other reaction is that, how old are you? And if I say I'm 57, I'm going to be 58, they seem to be shocked about it. Denmark is very flat. They do have a lot of bicycles. What's the point of walking? For me, walking is inspired by Mahatma Gandhi. It is an individual action which you can do, and it's the easiest thing to do. It is also in a climate context. It also gives other messages for people. It also gives me a chance to take a personal stand and because that's one of the things Mahatma said that if you see something really unjust you have to stand up and the climatic impact while well, I work for Oxfam as a climate campaigner from the hills of Papua to the little island in Kalangala in Uganda have seen some of the poorest people who have not contributed to this problem especially women have been hit so hard and so fundamentally and profoundly and already suffering population so I feel like I have to do something so I decided to work. And how do you let people know what your message is as you walk along so that they don't just think, oh, look, there's an interesting chap walking along, but they don't know yes. why? So in Denmark, what happened, I think the local television in the east got interested that day when I walked the longest walk. So they immediately did a story on me walking, and I was also singing madly that day, some Tamil poetry and uh, so on. What were you singing, Push? Shall I sing it for you? Oh, please. Uchi midi vanam vandi virigin rapodi lum acha millai, acha millai, acha millai enbade. Meaning even if the big blue sky hits on you, you have to be fearless and fearless and fearless. I was seeing that from time to time when I'm feeling really not so confident and I'm feeling so unsure when I'm walking all by myself. By Today I met 30 students and then we had this great conversation going. They were very strongly, some of them skeptical, others were cynical. And by the time I finished telling the story of my work with Oxfam, they got really inspired by that. And tomorrow some of the students want to walk with me. This has happened to me from time and again. That's Push Krishnamurti walking to Copenhagen to make a point about his commitment to climate change and especially the effect it has on poor people. Your emails, some of them are hopeful. Uh, this is Rajiv Batra from Mumbai.